Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and I'm going to look in on the 55 gallon bin blue. Let's do the reveal here. Let's see what's going on. They got quite a big feeding. Looks like the pill bugs are happy. Pull back that, and they've already started to make castings right there on the top. So let's let's go ahead and look through and see what's going on. Can I just do a flip? That's a good good amount of worms there. It is super wet too. It was a super wet feeding. And although I would not choose to make it that wet, they are certainly digging it. See, there's a little tomato. They are going through all the bedding nicely. It's just this paper bedding here. Yeah, it's pretty wet. Let's dig a little deeper and see what we can find. Starting to get a reveal here of something. Yeah, it looks like an orange. Orange with a bunch of worms sticking out of it. Another orange. Yeah, it's pretty wet through here. I'm probably going to mix this whole area up that's not part of the finished portion. Because now that I'm getting to the middle here, it is kind of smelling a little funky. And not in a good way. You know what I mean, right? Certain funky things are good. Certain funky things are bad. This is starting to go that way towards kind of bad. Alright, let me uh, put you up on your perch here. Okay, so I'm going to start over here, get into some of this leaf bedding and mix that in because it's a little drier and I'm going to mix that in with the the paper bedding, kind of try and equilibrate the moisture within the bin here. It's a little bit farther along. Let's see, oh, there's a, another orange. I did really big feedings on everything last time. So I was expecting it to be wetter than usual because it was a blended feeding. But when it starts getting wet enough that it's getting funky smelling, then, then it's gone too far. Plus, this will also get an opportunity to get that leaf bedding incorporated in with the paper bedding. And as I've said before, I can tell a difference in the color. And since I don't really separate it when I use it in the garden, I haven't really noticed a, a difference in usability. Is it better for the plants or what? I don't know. Hard, it's hard to say. Then when we're finding the food, then we'll put that back at the very end over here, at the leading edge. Looks like they really do. They really went through that huge feeding. I know there's a lot of worms in there here. There's probably, you know, there's probably more than five or six pounds of worms in here. So I can usually give them a pretty heavy feeding and not worry about having it go stagnant on me or anything. With the change of seasons, um, things tend to with the furnace not running, 
things to stay wetter and perhaps even kind of go to the too wet portion. So right now that's kind of the, that's the learning curve every spring is to make sure that the food that I give them doesn't create a problem. They eat faster because it's warmer, but then because the furnace is not running, it also stays more moist. So gives with one hand and takes away with the other. Definitely not feed them today, but gonna just give you guys an update on that huge feeding and see what happened with all the worms and get a chance to see a nice worm ball every once in a while. One of the things that I have noticed on this leading edge here is that it also is kind of a repository like any liquid kind of comes right here and that way it's not something I did intentionally but it, it you know slope of the room or what have you and that way the worms can get away from things that are too wet and so that seems to be working unintentional consequence and yet it's still you know it's helping me all right guys well I'm gonna put these little wormies to bed if you have any comments, go ahead and put them below. In case you use bubble wrap, they do tend to do that. And if there's a hole in the bubble wrap, they'll actually get in the middle. All right, guys. Well, if you liked the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not already a member of my worm family, click subscribe. And if you want to add any comments or what have you to the video, please, I enjoy looking at those and I enjoy responding to them. So feel free to put those below. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody, have a good day.